you know, I really certainly understand what Philemon is all about now. It took me a while, but after close examination, understanding, and learning about this little puce slice, the Silicon Valley loser who drives a 72 Nissan pickup truck that goes bleh, 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 when it hits 50 miles an hour on Interstate 5 in Highway 99 in California. Yeah. I mean, he's in a, he's in a dead relationship, ladies and gentlemen. He really is. Can't get nobody. You think a beautiful woman is going to date him like Kim, Arnett, Angela G., Rafty? Fuck, no. A beautiful, gorgeous woman like Andrea Knowles or Diana? Fuck no. They laugh at that pew slice. A lot of people, a lot of people do laugh at Philemon. And I've heard a lot of women have laughed at Philemon and rejected him. Philemon has gone through a life all pissed up. I mean, he's, he's sure of testosterone. He's not a real man. He's just a little... He's a 40-something-year-old little man named Gary Stico and a 12-year-old mind little boy. I understand why his fascination for underagers and teen girls. Because grown women reject his fucking sorry, retarded, happy ass. Oh! The only woman that ever accepted him and gave him a shot was his ex-wife that produced two children with his dumb ass. I don't know how the fuck his wife got satisfied with fellow mom Gary Steco's four inch Michael Dick and he shoot blanks out of his dick. Retarded fucking sperm. <laughs> but that's for another video of another time. Anyway, let me not digress. Then he's got a relationship with Nicola because she probably feels bad for the guy. She's lonely. She got nowhere to go. Her ex-husband got the kids, and she's literally in a trailer shack in Toronto, drinking Chardonnay bottles of wine every fucking night because she's a drunken alcoholic Debbie bitch, having fantasies about lesbian affair. I still remember when I did the videos about her and Pamela Strasher. Hey, I think that's fucking hot because they were a white night for each other. They was. They were giving. I mean, one time you knew these chat last year. About this time, Thanksgiving to Christmas time, Nicola and Pam and Thrasher are giving each other smooches on the cheeks. They say, what's up, girlfriend? Go, you, you go, girlfriend. And she went, anyways, you know, let's not get into that too much anyways. Yeah. Let's talk about how Film Mom is such a fucking ratchet piece of shit. When he, you go up to Film Mom and you disagree with him, guess what he's going to do? He's going to call you a creep, a sicko, and then he's going to go all his way with his butt buddies like Bonnie Frog, Bench Warmer. Now he's going to white knight with shizzle, fizzle sticks. Oh yeah. And he's, get his little poor, and he's going to get his poor, pathetic butt buddies and white knight with a PD to fours and dab handling. They're going to call you a pedo, a sick fuck, a creep, and then they're going to go say you're a child molester. You're gonna go out there out of the way and say you are a convicted sex offender, a registered sex offender. That's what they rely to and break down to you are. They are that bad, ladies and gentlemen. When you're dealing with people like Fellow Mom, Body Freedom, Shizzle, Urban Disciples, and a few, yeah, and PD uh, Defense Force Land, like Cridley, yeah, and a few other motherfuckers. When you're doing something like that, oh, they'll go stream out the way. If you disagree with him, if you go out there, because these, half of these motherfuckers are still going around saying Sandy Hook is fake, you found it's fake, all that shit. And they go around saying Alex Jones shouldn't never been sued. Never at all. Yep, all that shit. <laughs> and talk about saying 9 11 is an inside job, all this bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. So they resort to the extreme, ladies and gentlemen. You disagree with them, they're gonna call you a pedo, a sicko, a creep, a registered offender, a convicted sex offender. Think about that when you're battling fools like Fellow Mom, 
finding freedom. Nicola. Urban Disciples. And a few others. And watch out for that Peter Defense Board. Because they're, they're dropping Peter Beats and Bars and smoking that Chomo weed. Let that sink in. And you know what? If they call you that name, don't be phased. Just laugh it off, brush it off what I do. And if you're a good entrepreneur, a Tonka uh, content creator, slap back at them. Give, give back your own medicine. Because you know what? It pisses off me more. And you, when you're laughing, ooh, oh my god. They will rail. That's what I do. Think about that. I'm out of here, Mike. Peace out. Take care, everybody. Much prayers, blessings, loves, all that good stuff.